The overall goal of this procedure is to co-transfect reporter constructs with a microRNA mimic to validate predicted microRNA targets in human 3' UTRs. This is accomplished by first laying out an experimental design including choosing a cell line and selecting microRNA mimics along with experimental and control 3' UTR Go clone reporter constructs. The adherent cells are then seeded approximately 24 hours prior to transfection. The next step of the procedure is to co-transfect each experimental or control 3' UTR Go clone reporter construct with a microRNA mimic or non-targeting control, followed by a 24 to 48 hour incubation. As a final step, the light switch luciferase assay reagent is added directly to the cells in culture and the luminescent signal is read on a plate luminometer. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show which human 3' UTRs are targets of a given microRNA through measurement of luciferase signal knockdown with reporter assay technology. This method can help answer key questions for microRNA researchers because it provides a functional assay to validate predicted microRNA 3' UTR target interactions in living cells. Experimental design begins with the selection of an appropriate, highly transfectable adherent cell line. MicroRNA mimic-based assays work best in cell lines with low endogenous expression levels of the microRNA. Then, select the microRNA mimic and non-targeting control pair. Including a non-targeting control is critical as co-transfecting a plasmid and a small RNA oligo leads to lower signal than transfecting the plasmid alone. Next, select the pre-cloned 3' UTR Go clone reporter constructs from Switchgear's genome-wide collection. Go to the online catalog and click on the UTR search button after entering the list of gene names, gene symbols, or accession numbers. The search result will provide vector and sequence information along with inventory status. Now, Select the control reporter constructs. Choose control constructs with 3' UTRs unlikely to be targeted by the chosen microRNA, such as housekeeping UTRs or random fragments, to control for nonspecific effects of microRNA overexpression on overall cell health or assay signal. Also consider using a synthetic microRNA target reporter as a positive control for mimic activity. On day one, Seed low-passage adherent cells so they will be 80 to 100% confluent for transfection 24 hours later. Using highly confluent cells is key to achieving good results. Seed the cells in a white 96-well tissue culture plate in 100 microliters of total volume. In parallel, seed the appropriate number of cells in a clear plate for assessing confluence. On day 2, 24 hours post-cell seeding, prepare for transfection. Thaw Go clone reporter constructs and microRNAs at room temperature. Once thawed, mix well. Dilute the microRNAs to a working concentration of 2 micromolar in RNAs free water. Go clone plasma DNA is delivered at 30 nanograms per microliter and does not require further dilution. To prepare the transfection mixture, consider that each DNA RNA combination should be transfected in triplicate. Volume should be scaled to account for the number of assays being performed. Create the transfection reagent mixture by combining 9.85 microliters of serum-free media and 0.15 microliters of Dharmafect Duo per transfection. Allow the mixture to incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Then, create the DNA-RNA mixture for each assay by combining 3.33 microliters of the Go clone reporter construct with enough microRNA mimic to achieve the desired final concentration. Bring the volume to 10 microliters with serum-free media. Next, combine 10 microliters of the transfection reagent mixture with 10 microliters of each DNA-RNA mixture and mix well. There is a final volume of 20 microliters for each assay well. Cover and incubate for 20 minutes at room temperature. After incubating, add 80 microliters of pre-warmed antibiotic-free complete media for a total volume of 100 microliters per individual well or assay, resulting in final mimic concentrations between 10 and 50 nanomolar. As a final step, Carefully remove the media from each well of seeded cells and replace with 100 microliters of the appropriate final transfection mixture. Return the plate to the incubator and incubate for 24 to 48 hours. Most mimics will produce significant results within 24 hours, 